Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 55th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the alter table command and the alter table command is a data definition language or a DDL command and what that means is that uh, it works with the structure of uh, tables instead of working with the data inside the tables, right? And uh, it can be used to add or delete or modify columns or constraints to your uh, tables and in this tutorial the features of alter table that we're going to check out are you know uh, how we can use the alter table command to add a field in a table how we can use it to remove a field from a table and then how we can use it to modify a field uh, from a table so let's first see how we can add a field right so i have uh, my mysql workbench here and i'm uh, currently in the you know editor portion so i can type in alter table and uh, then you have to follow that up those two keywords with the name of the table that you wish to work with so i'll work with the employee table and what i'll do is i'll add a city field to the employee table right so it wasn't earlier there and i want to add it now so you know alter table employee and then put a space and then type in add you know so that's another keyword and then you type in the name of the field that you wish to add so you know i want to add city and i want this to be a character field and let's say I want uh, it to have up to 20 characters. So I'll type in 20 within parentheses, put a semicolon at the end. And when I execute the query in the output section, I see the message that the statement, the uh, command words executed successfully. And now I can, uh, you know, see what has happened to my table. So to do that, I'll type in select star from employee. And when I execute this, I see that another field city has now been added to the table, but you know, there's no data for this field, uh, you know, in any of the rows in the table. So, you know, even after adding the column, you still have to insert data using the, you know, update command, you know, modifying the values that are there in each row. And, uh, you know, that can be a pretty uh, tedious task. But then at least all the table gives you the option of modifying the structure of a table at, you know, some later point in time. So let's say you create a table with uh, some columns or with some constraints, you know, in this table, we have the ID field as a primary, key. you know, let's say you want to change, uh, you know, that and you want to make uh, the age field the primary key or something like that, you know, if you want to do such operations by changing the structure of the table, then, you know, you have a fantastic tool in the form of the order table command. Now, let's say you want to remove a field from this table. So let's say we, we want to drop the city field. We don't like it. So we're going to drop it. And uh, the way you do that is by typing in alter table again. And then again, you'll have to type in the name of your table. So type in employee and uh, then you'll type in drop. So instead of add, you'll type in drop. And this time you won't have to mention the data type of the column that you wish to drop. You just have to mention the name, right? And that's convenient and obvious. You, you don't have to mention the data type here. So when we execute this, you know, we don't see anything, we don't get a result set or anything, but the output section, we do get the message that the command was executed successfully. And when you run the select star query, you can see that the field city is no longer there in the results set, right? So, you know, we've seen two features and the last one that we're gonna check out is uh, how we can use the alter table command to, you know, um, modify, you know, the uh, fields in a table. So what we're going to do is let me just describe uh, the table employee to you guys so we can see what kind of modifications we can make. So we see here that the name field, for instance, is a field of the varchar type and, uh, you know, the not null constraint has not been applied to it. You know, only that constraint is applied only to the ID field because it's a primary key, so it cannot take uh, null values, but all the other fields can take null values, right? So you see four yeses and one no. Now, let's say you want to add a not null constraint to it. And at the same time, you want to change uh, the var char type to char type, right? The character type, you want to change that. So the way you're going to do that is by typing alter table and then employee. And then you will type in modify this time. So we've seen the add keyword, the drop keyword, and now we're checking out the modify keyword. And then you type in the name of the field that you wish to modify. So that in this case will be name. And uh, then you type in uh, the data type of the field. So I want it to be a character field of, uh, you know, let's say 30 characters. And I also want it to have the not null constraint. So I'll type in all of that, put a semicolon at the end. And when I execute this, you know, again, in the output section, I get the message that the command was executed successfully. And when I, you know, run the describe employee command now, 
I see that the name field firstly has a not null constraint on it, so it cannot take null values and its type has been changed to char and uh, the limit is of course 30. Right, so that's it about the alter table command and it's a very useful command and you can just practice it by creating dummy tables or something and you know just work with the, the command you'll understand uh, all the three keywords and how you're supposed to use them and uh, I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial I'll see you in the next one and uh, you may subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and uh, I'll see you soon.